to Life Mastery. I am Sharika Swaby. Today we're looking at that aspect of our mental construct that encompasses all other aspects. Our traditions and our culture. Now we learn from our environment, whether it's our homes, our communities, or our larger society. What we learn is likely to be what is socially accepted, what is allowed, what is right from wrong, according to that group. As human beings, we have this need to be accepted and approved of. We have this need to fit in. And as a result, we often conform to whatever the tradition and culture of that group is. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just that sometimes we lose our individual identity along the way. We see this all the time when we see people just following the leader, having no clue as to why they are doing so. Now, what do you do when you're in such a situation? How do you ensure that you are not just a wandering generality? You make an effort to understand the traditions and the cultures that you are living by. You begin to ask questions. Find out how does this apply? Why does it apply? At what point was it put in place? Why was it put in place? Does it apply today? Have things changed? Do we need to do it another way? Do I need to look at it from a different perspective? It is okay to have a pers perspective. You are supposed to use your own thinking. As a matter of fact, it is a requirement that you think for yourself, that you come to your own conclusions, that you form your own ideas about what life should be. This is a requirement. You are an individual with an individual journey and an individual path. Each one of us have a specific purpose. That purpose cannot be fulfilled if you are a wandering generality. So, what traditions are you living by? Are they serving you? Are they helping you to become the best version of yourself? Or are you just following the leader? Are you just there going along with whatever is said? Because that is what is accepted. You need to break down the walls. You need to break out of that barrier so that you can become the best version of you. Not the version that your society says you are supposed to be. At the end of the day, when you get to the end of your journey, what will you be able to say you contributed to the life, lives of others? We are here to serve, and it's only when we understand who we are as individuals that we can find out what our service should be. But if you are just following the leader, at what point do you think you will find out what your purpose is, how you're supposed to serve? Don't you want to make an impact on this world? Don't you want to be remembered for something except a follower? It's time you disrupt the status quo. Identify yourself for who you are. Be who you are. Dig deep, it may take some digging, but it's absolutely worth it. I hope you found some knowledge in this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Until next time, I am Sharika Swaby, and this has been Life Mastery. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.